Hello and welcome to part 25A of the uh, IO Development Diary and we're back in Modo quickly today and we're going to start working on a little uh, clean air worker robot so uh, I'm just going to crack straight on with this and we'll load an image in and uh, this is the sort of, even though this is a real like hoover or vacuum cleaner uh, we're going to make a similar sort of uh, robot sort of shape to this uh, so what I'm going to do I'm gonna go, we're working in a mesh layer I'm going to go over to the top. I'm just going to turn some grid snapping on for now. And uh, set to make the poly. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to basically I'm not worrying too much about the shape. And I'm just going to go up to uh, Geometry, uh, Duplicate, uh, Mirror. Stick him down there. So we hit the B key to bevel. Move him up a bit. I'm going to slice. I'm going to select this poly. Make sure grid snapping is on. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down there. Hold the shift key. Cut it down there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select these two. Hit the B key to bevel. And just drop them right down. And then select those bottom bits. Just cut them out. bevel that bevel that up there just gonna bend that over there I don't want to smooth all these off too much because if you think about it, in game, the model's probably going to look about that sort of size, so you're not really going to notice if that edge isn't smooth. The only reason I'm thinking about smoothing it is, like I say, we're going to try and have some fun with the materials with this because the model is going to be quite basic. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some sort of like uh, material on this, but these, uh, these polys, like here, going around here. I might add a different material on there, make them glow, or make like it pulse, like a like an eye or electric beam. Just straighten that up slightly. So I'm going to make that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this shape, cut it into my new mesh. And then we'll get the edges, select all those, just turn off all this stuff over here. So I've just got that shape. And I'm going to hit my pipe tool. And that basically just uses this uh, pipe we, bo we boshed down with the sizes we used, like how many segments they are, and uh, the sort of radius. And then it just basically uses the shape of the edges. I selected there and basically just traces this round. So that's, that's put me a little, put me a little pipe on. 